Hello everybody, in this new tutorial of Angular 9 and ASP.NET Core. So today I'll show you how to make um, edit user profile and a pop-up or which call the model. So here we can navigate to the ng bootstrap site web and here we have some type of model. So first of all we need to create a new component in pop-up folder called edit user like uh, last time and inside we we'll define the form and we don't need to navigate to this component but we can open this component like a model so let's navigate to the site web and copy this example of HTML and copy it inside the edit user component created and we need to install um, the ng bootstrap uh, model so here we can launch the command npm install save ng bootstrap slash ng bootstrap so make sure you run the last version of angular so this is a version 9 um, so in the app model here we need to import the ng model and add it in imports array and in the constructor here we need to declare a public model type of ngb activated model and in the manage user component so we need to add a private model service type of ngb model in which we needed to open a model or a pop-up so inside the edit item we don't need to navigate to the edit user but we need to open this component like um, like a pop-up so we need simple to call the model service dot open and we pass the component we need to open it like a model so let's make constant here called reference and ref dot component instance so we have the instance of the component and we can access all the public property for example here we have a user model property in which we will store the selected user model that's very nice we need to create this user model here and the edit component type of user model and in the ng on init um, let's say we need to log the user model that's very nice so now here we need to catch the event when the user tap update or tap um, the cancel button so we can make two callbacks here uh, the first callback it's for the ok button or update button and the second callback is for the cancel so we can make um, some treatment here so for the OK or yes callback we needed to update the grid um, when user make an update and the cancel uh, in our case here we don't need it so we'll make simple log here cancel click now let's run the web api project and the node.js server so here we have many errors here because um, i'm not in the last version of angular so let's run a command ng update angular slash theory and angular slash core in order to make sure we are under the 9 version 
So here let's launch the server. And here we have a data binding error that's uh, that's normal because we copy it from the ng bootstrap. So let's delete the content of this model and let's go to the sign in page and navigate to the user manage user and here we have our empty pop-up so let's make some changes here in order to get let's navigate to the old edit user and copy the html and paste it and the new edit user component so here we have a, a model header and a model body so we can delete some html here we can delete the header and I think yes the close div tag and let's make control shift F so now in the edit component let's copy the old code here all this part created in the last tutorial so the same thing we will need to make some modification so here let's paste it and make some modification so we need to copy this public ngb activated model paste it here and we delete these two lines and simply add all missing imports So here let's jump to the edit form to the set form method. So this time we get the user ID from the URL. So in this case we don't need it. We can pass directly the data from the selected uh, item from the grid. So here we need to change the initialization here. So let's copy the edit form. And after that we need to delete the user service dot get user by ID we don't need it because we pass the data directly uh, from the selected item of user greet and finally we need to delete the user ID the parameter that's great and now we copy selected user and we need to paste it in the manage user component great so here we have an error unexpected closing tag div so we have to delete this um, closing tag div and it's here nice let's make control shift f good and we need finally to import the user the edit user component and the app model and simply command the old edit user component we need to comment it because we have the same name it will make some problems for compiler and now we have our edit pop-up so let's make some changes here let's comment this update button and we can add the footer to button for update and cancel and we need to delete the click for the update because it will be binded on the unsubmit method so here we can change the message to cancel click and finally when we make the update user we don't need to navigate to the manage user component but 
we have to close the model so we call this dot model dot close simply and so here what you have yeah the this was great let's make a test so you can change and make an update that doesn't work and it's normal because the update button is outside the form tag so it's not the, the update button is not um, binded to um, the unsubmit uh, method so only the cancel button work works correctly so here we need to make some changes let's copy let's reactivate this update button and duplicate it here change the label to cancel and finally we bind the click to model.close for the cancel and for the update button it will be automatically binded to unsubmit uh, method created in the TypeScript and I think that's good and here finally when we make an update we need to close the model let's make ed yes let's make an edit uh, it's not beautiful we'll make some changes in the html when i make an update here so let's make an update here change this and so here the grid is not automatically refreshed when I make a refresh in the page we can see that the first name changed so simply in the manage user component for the yes callback we need to call the set user list in order to get the new data from the server and that's all let's save and navigate to the browser yeah that's good here so here in the browser let's make control f5 and let's make some changes here and let's make an update yeah that's work bingo so here we can see that the first name changed correctly so let's make some changes in html and put the footer class and that's work correctly very nice so here we can make some changes for our model for example the header uh, let's make a background color so let's add a bg primary so the header will have background blue background color and we can add also the text white uh, class from the bootstrap and all the text will be in white color that's very nice so the last thing to show you here how to make our pop-up uh, centered after the opening event so here we need to add an option called centered so equal to true and when we launch it will be centered so that's all for today thank you for your watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and